be showing you some of my home today, giving you an idea of what my aesthetic is, where I find my favorite home decor items, and just showing you around. So let's get started because I filmed this 20 times and I ain't doing it again. Whatever, let's go. about how cute these coffee cups are. I got these on Amazon. They're just very lightweight glass coffee cups. They come in a package of six. I will actually link those down below if that's something that you like. Um, it just makes me feel like drinking my coffee looking cute. So another one of my favorite items for the kitchen is this right here. It's just a little pedestal that I got on Amazon. It was a little bit pricier than um, what you would think it would be, but I did find an alternative option if you didn't want to spend um, a little bit more on this one. There's this one. Um, but this one I like better just because it's very like natural looking. It's kind of beat up, um, adds a lot of character to it. But what I do with this is I just add a little candle. This one's actually from Target. Um, Mm, smells really good too. But I add a little candle and then this little scrub brush um, and I just set it beside our sink. And then beside that I have just this cute little soap deal. I got this at Tuesday morning. It's glass um, with a little black top to go with our sink and faucet and hardware. Um, but I used to use um, Bath and Body soaps. I would always stick them by there, but it just seemed like to have like I don't know, they do have some that are cute, um, but it just seemed like a lot going on because of all the different like accents that I had in my kitchen. So I just got this cute little glass um, soap dispenser and then I sit them right beside my sink. Um, another thing that I got on Amazon that I actually really think is cute is this item right here. If you can see that, it's very heavy duty. Um, it's actually just a lighter, so you can light your candles with. Comes in a package of two. There's a black one and then this like champagne kind of rose gold colored one. Rechargeable, thought it was super cute. Very um, affordable and a cute way to just like throw in a little accent on like a basket or a tray that you have a candle. It's cute to just sit beside. Another one of my favorite finds, this is actually from TJ Maxx. It's very heavy, um, it's wooden, it was $20. $19.99, um, it's got a little handle, so it's really just like a cutting board with um, some step, sort of uh, legs on it. And I just sit it in the corner of my kitchen. I have like my knives sitting on one side, and then I got this cute little vase from Target. It's just like a little vase that you could put plants in. It's textured, um, very cute. Um, and I just throw some spoons, some cute different utensils in there, and I set it beside my knives, and then it's super cute. It makes like a little statement for that corner um, without being like super crazy. So, so the basket on my island, I really wanted something on my island to just um, kind of keep everything together so that it didn't look super cluttered, but kind of like make a statement right when you walk into my home. Um, but I got this super cute little candle from Target. I love that it has a little gold accent on the top. Wood and then this textured glass candle. Not to mention it smells so good. It is, it is Threshold, Studio McGee. Yeah, I absolutely love Shay and all of her decor. Um, soon I will be doing a Target um, haul because I buy from Target more than once a week. 
Another must have is just some books. I actually got these at a local thrift store. I think I paid 10 cents each for these. They're just hardcover books. I go buy them, find um, colors that match my home, take off the paper covering, and then just add them to add like some height. They're always cute to like stack on a book shelf or um, even like on an entry table, but just makes this candle stand up a little bit more and just add some character to it. Another thing that I got, this is actually from Home Goods. I got this a while back, back whenever I was getting excited for a house and about to move in. I just thought this, it's not a geode or maybe it is. I'm really not even sure. Um, I just thought that the crystals looked really pretty without adding um, too much glitz to my decor because it's not, um, but it was still earthy and gave like just a soft little um, glam to this basket. This vase, I was actually not sure about it at first because probably because it was only $9.99 at Ross. Um, but don't sleep on Ross, TJ Maxx, places like that because even though they don't always have a lot, you can still find. Like I sometimes walk out of there with one thing, but that one thing could be this and it actually ends up looking really cute. Um, I've got my pompous grass thrown in there. It's going to be great for fall. Um, but this way, it's just like a nude color, which I love anything that's nude, earthy, warm tones. Um, it's just very pretty. So um, I love this vase. I just threw it in this little basket that I got from Walmart. I think I spent $25 on this basket. It's a good size. Um, it's, it's pretty big or I thought it was really big and then I bought it, put it on my island and I was like, okay, maybe it's not as big as I thought, um, but it's a perfect like coffee table basket. Um, it's like woven all the way around, um, but baskets are very important. Baskets, trays, things like that are very important to kind of like home, like a cluster of decor. So it makes it not so cluttered and just kind of pulls it all together instead of just having random items thrown on your counter. Um, so what I do here, I'll show you in the next clip, um, but I just like to throw it all together and it makes it very organized and cute. Um, but that statement piece would look good pretty much anywhere. You could throw it on an entry table, in a bathroom, um, on your coffee table. Ready? important you know they are a very important part of decorating so they can either enhance your space or completely ruin your space it's important that if you are going to hang her curtains that you hang them correctly so these curtains are actually just a linen curtain that i got off of amazon and um, i think it's in this shade natural i will link them below it could be cream i'm not sure but i have them all throughout my living area so that it flows from our dining to our living um, since it all is one space um, but it's important that if you are going to hang curtains, you hang them all the way, not completely at the top of the ceiling, but very close to the top of the ceiling, um, because otherwise you are making your rooms feel smaller. The curtains going at, the, if you hang your curtains at the top, it makes your eyes flow up and it makes the room appear larger. Um, the blinds that I got, I didn't want just ordinary blinds. And I also didn't want to get blackout curtains for my, uh, breakfast nook and living area because I do like a because I do like a lot of natural lighting. So what I went with was the Arlo wood blinds and they're very easy, very affordable, and they were easy to install. That's gonna be it for my kitchen tour. Thanks so much for joining me. Please subscribe down below, like this video, comment and let me know what you would like to see next. Um, I'm really thinking it's gonna be an Amazon home favorites um, just because I have so much cool stuff coming in and that I've recently received. So let me know down below what you would like to see and see you next time.